Good evening, Facebook friends. We're in the studio of Anthony Tobias, the Executive Director of the Latin American Heritage Society. Hello, Anthony. How are you? Hello, Sandy. How are you doing this evening? Great. Thank you so much. Um, thank you so much for sitting down with us to tell us about your Heritage Society and the purpose of it. And um, I can't wait to hear. So please tell us. Thank you again for this kind invitation for allowing me to talk about my organization. First of all, we were established in 2013, and as you mentioned, I'm actually the executive director, president, and founder of the organization. We became an official 501c3 about five years ago, and one of the mission statements that we actually have is we raise scholarship funds for young men and women who want to major in music and the arts. However, as executive director, one of the missions that I have personally is I raise monies for children from St. PJ's and for Boysville for Christmas gifts. And uh, that I just started about two years ago and uh, really love doing that. Well, it certainly is very worthwhile. I know that the San Antonio community appreciates you for doing this. Um, and um, I'd love to hear about your advisory board. Tell us some of the people that are on, on it, please. We have some fantastic people. We have a who's who's of Hispanics who have made San Antonio and given back. Of course, uh, first of all, we have Patsy Torres, who is a close friend of mine. We have uh, Diego Bernal. We have Jose Menendez. And uh, we have a lot of great people as volunteers helping us to give back to San Antonio. Not only do we raise money for scholarships and I raise money for Christmas gifts, but we also visit some of the children at the hospitals. We visit about three or four hospitals during the year. We visit University Hospital, Methodist Children's Hospital, Krista Santa Rosa. We also are involved with Meals on Wheels and uh, the Jimenez Dinner. And I believe we're involved with about nine to ten different nonprofits giving back to San Antonio. So it's a great uh, position to hold with a great organization. Yes, it certainly is. And I know that it's very rewarding for you because I know that um, your personal feeling is that you should give back to the community. Um, and that is mine as well. And um, as you know, I have a strong Latin heritage myself, and um, I'm very proud of that. And so I think that this is a wonderful organization. Um, can you tell us a little bit about how people can get in touch with you? Well, there's several ways. First of all, we have a Facebook um, spot, which is Latin American Heritage Society, and we also have a YouTube. It's a great YouTube and that was uh, sponsored or produced by Rosinda Reels who was one of our members. Uh, she just passed away this year. She'll be fondly missed. Uh, but uh, Rosinda and her husband Larry put this video together for the organization as a donation and it's a great video. You need to log on to YouTube and just put Latin American Heritage Society and it'll tell you explicitly of who we are and what we do for the San Antonio community. As I mentioned, I myself though as executive director, one of the challenges that I have is I try to raise funds for children from St. PJ's and Boysville for Christmas gifts. And last year, uh, I was able to raise $5,000, but this year it's been a little tough with the pandemic. And I know financially it's difficult for a lot of people out there, but uh, still know you're luckier than most people and most children especially. You know, some of these kids, they don't have a mom or dad, or they've been temporarily pulled away from their mom and dad. Or by themselves in these uh, housing areas, which are which are okay, but it's not the same thing as being with your parents. And so, if you could help me, you know, this is kind of an outreach or outcry to say, if you could help me, put some monies together for these kids. And uh, normally, what we do is after Christmas, even though the money's for Christmas, uh, in January, normally I take these kids that St. PJ's or boys will pick out these kids. We meet them down there. And whatever the dollar amount that we total, say whatever money we raise, we divided that into the number of kids we've got. And they can buy whatever they want. You know, that's one of the stipulations we tell St. PJ's is that, you know, don't tell the kids they can buy whatever, as long as it's the limit, the dollar limit that we've gotten for each child. So they can buy toys or games or socks or whatever they, they need. Uh, so it's really a, a neat organization. I love doing this. And uh, one of the things that you and I in private conversations you've asked me was the most rewarding. Um, to me, one of the most rewarding, uh, there's three. One, of course, working with some fantastic people like Patsy and Diego and Jose, who's, who's willing to give back. They've given back. These people constantly are at the bat giving back all the time. But it's, um, 
when we do the Meals on Wheels and you see some of these senior citizens, they're starving for attention. You know, we're, we're there to give them their meal, but they, they grab your hand and they want to talk to you because they haven't had someone who has visited them maybe in three, four months or six months and, and they're lonely. And so, you know, the, the, the 20 minutes or five minutes or 10 minutes, whatever you can spend with them, they really relish that because they, they want some companionship. And what's really neat is when you take a child from St. PJ's, and I think any parent can relate to this, is you see the twinkle in their eyes when they're buying these gifts. And that is phantasmal, just rewarding and seeing something like that. So uh, an outreach, if your listeners can help us, it's, it's difficult times with the pandemic, but believe me, you're still luckier than most of these children. Yes, we certainly are. And um, the Latin American Heritage Society will be tagged on this. And so Facebook friends, please reach out to Anthony and um, give, give, give of yourselves. Make this season a good one, even though the pandemic has hit everyone hard. Um, thank you so much. And uh, you do have, a, you have an email address, don't you? Yes, I have an email address, which is latinamericanheritage at gmail.com. Or my office phone number and my direct number, also both, 210-772-2900. Again, if you'd like to talk about the organization, if you're interested in becoming a volunteer, interested in becoming a member, or helping the organization, it would really be great. Thank you so much, Anthony, and thank you for all that you do for the San Antonio community. Thank you for what you do for supporting artists. Thank you very much, Sandy. Take God care. God bless, God bless you. Thank you.